Welcome back to Monsters, talking about them. This is our Oktoberfest edition. So I figured, since it's now Oktoberfest in Bavaria, why would I not go with some uh, uh, some German lore and some German monsters? Now I'm talking about the uh, Tatzelwurm. And the Tatzelwurm, there's no umlaut over it, so it's not Tatzelwurm. But the Tatzelwurm is also called the Alps Dragon. It is reported to inhabit several areas in Europe, um, in Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Italy, and the mountainous alpine regions. An Alps Dragon? Uh, it's called the Tatzelwurm. I'll give you the description. Uh, it also has regional names, including the Stonewurm, the Springwurm, the Ararasis, the Pretzelwurm. I like that. I think it's Pretzelwurm. <laughs> but uh, in the Bergstutzen. You're making me hungry. <laughs> Would you like a uh, pretzel worm? Yes. Uh, it's described as a stubby lizard-like creature that has uh, two front legs, but it has no hind legs. And um, it's a long, I guess, slithery-like worm uh, serpent body with scales. It has, apparently in some descriptions, has uh, features of a, kind of a, a cat-like face. Also been uh, noted to emit poisonous fumes. Like Joe's shoes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it wears Joe's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they went. <laughs> the uh what the ever living shit an event okay so who's who's talking about the uh the this worm pretzel worm tatsu worm tatsu worm who's talking about like how long has this this legend legendary monster been around in the in german german folklore um from what i i didn't get anything exact said hundreds of years but the first account i could find uh, this this is not in the American Monsters book for, I guess, obvious reasons because it's a European monster. But um, of a 1779 sighting, it's very vague and short, but a man named Hans Fuchs. Um, fox, it's Fox, I think. Fuchs is, means Fox, yeah. Uh, he sighted two of these creatures, uh, which caused him to suffer a heart attack, apparently. What a pussy. <laughs> He suffered uh, complications from his heart attack, which also led to his death. But before he died, he was able to tell his family of his encounter. These creatures were apparently five to seven feet in length, with a snake-like body, uh, clawed front legs, and larger feline-like head, kind of had sharp um, cat-like teeth. Now, I guess a better account would be from 1828. A peasant supposedly found a corpse of this tatsel worm, and by the uh, time he'd managed to wrangle it home, crows had already eaten half of it. I don't know why he didn't try to fight the crows off of it, but that's neither here nor there. But even with the light anecdotal evidence like this, the tatsel worm apparently built up enough of a following of believers that it was even considered uh, as a fact in the 19th century. And it's speculated that even if the creature did actually exist, the sightings are so rare apparently, that it might be now extinct, but there's this uh, Totzelwurm can be found in two 19th century um, German hunting field guides, so like... So this, this thing was, a- pretty, like, people thought this was fucking legit. I'm gonna hang up on Joe, because I think his, his, uh, his call drop. But people thought this thing was super legit. Right, the hunting field guide would be in there with, you know, a bear, the uh, ram, or whatever else that... Uh, They'd be hunting. Um, it would be like uh, the American Field Guide, and there's a Bigfoot in there. <laughs> Correct, exactly. Okay. The white teal deer followed by Bigfoot. So, um, the first of which uh, was a Bavarian hunting manual. Uh, uh, it was called the New Pocket Gu- uh, Guide of the Year of 1836 for Nature, Forest, and Hunting Enthusiasts. The manual contains uh, what a, um, a Bernard Heuvelmann uh, describes as a a uh, curious picture of a sort of a, a scaly, like, cigar-like body with formidable teeth and wretched little stumps for feet. It and sounds disgusting. It sounds terrible. Yeah. Um, the, uh, you would not have sex with this thing. Well, that'd be uh, tough. I bet the Japanese would probably shove it up their cooter in some of their crazy <laughs> porn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hentai porn, tentacle porn. Well, you've, you've not seen the, the eels of... Uh, uh, and some of those Japanese. Yeah, I'm in the eel porn. Mm-hmm. The eels up their eel slash toilet porn. It's guts. Terrible. I like the guts. I like uh, having sex with stomachs. So, this, how how would this compare to the Katanga snake? Um, similar description. The Katanga snake is a snake, a giant snake. This one, this is like a, a long worm-like creature with legs. 
wears shoes and has a little hat. Yeah, yeah kind of like a salamander almost, but it's still much larger than a salamander. Mm-hmm. And there's a second manual, part of the illustrations, um, it appeared in the Swiss Almanac called Alpenrosen, uh, published in 1841. It took the form uh, in a drawing which showed a long, scaly creature with two tiny front legs. So, I mean, that's a fairly consistent description that we've had. Now, there are two legends of the uh, Totsil Worm that I have found. Uh, the, I mean, they're short stories. By, story, I mean, by that, I mean like three sentences. So, uh, <clears throat> the first, uh, sorry, the first tale is that of a young girl who was working on a Swiss farm while chopping down uh, bean poles from, I guess, bean stalks. She accidentally disturbed uh, a burrow of a tonsil worm. The uh, tonsil worm in, in this account was described as being um, of a gray coloration and about the size of a common domesticated cat. So, this, uh, I guess, accounts vary. So maybe two feet long versus you know five to seven. Apparently had a fleshy, hairless body and uh, possessing only two front legs. I guess the very common theme here, it only had two front legs and it was quite a long kind of um, snake-like body. It's a retard snake. Oh, it's it's pretty gay. (laughs) Retard, hey. According to the uh, story... Did she stomp on it? What what happened? What did she do? Apparently, uh, the worm, the tassel worm, uh, glared at the girl and she ran away. She cowered. And it, but she described it as having very bright eyes. It was very intense to look at them, hmm. which we've seen a lot of in all of these stories. Mesmerizing eyes. In another, I guess, tale here it tells of a man and his son out gathering herbs in the mountains when a man suddenly hears his son scream and seemed to be paralyzed in fear, staring at a rock. The man sprinted to his son, only to see a gruesome monster under the rock near his son, which hissed it like a snake but had the face of a cat with a bright eyes. So I guess we can consistently say it's two stumpy front legs, a long tail. And a cat right face. Up. Some Yeah, some describe it with a cat face. Some were kind of mute on the uh, but the face. Looked like uh, Apparently the man managed to stab the topsail worm, the sharpened stick easily piercing its flesh. According to the story, it had green blood. The creature sprayed out, and it burnt the man's leg, making his journey, long, uh, journey home very long and painful due to his limp. He had green skin. And the green blood. Green blood, and that's going to be a tough one to try and match. That's awesome. Here. The guy actually was not a pussy. Went over there and uh, stabbed the stabbed the motherfucker to protect his son. It had blood almost like that in aliens. Yeah, interesting. So here, um, a few other, I guess, quick accounts are. One was in July. Apparently, it was, it was in July, but it's either 1883 or 1884. A uh, Kaspar Arnold saw a, a totsil worm in the. Uh, uh, the Spielberg, or Spielberg, it's the mountain, that's the name of the mountain, uh, near uh, Hochfilzen in Tyrol, Austria. So it's in western Austria, in Tyrol. You, you probably don't know where that's at, but it's in the Alps. Hi, it's up in the Alps. He watched it from a mountain, uh, apparently he was sitting at a restaurant eating, and he watched it from a mountain restaurant uh, for about 20 minutes. Um, and he's certain that he only, he, he was very certain that it only had two legs. So I guess he was eating. He was eating the wiener, stuff. and he was looking at the, at the, at the window. Looking at a wiener. Yeah, looking at look at that. Does it look like a dick with legs? I'm eating a dick, and I'm looking life, at a dick out there with legs. Life couldn't get much better. Life is weird in the 1880s. Okay, apparently uh, leaped eight or sorry nine feet in the air uh, toward. Oh, okay, another account toward two witness near the Rauris uh, in Salzburg, Austria, in the summer of 1921. Apparently, it was gray, two to two three feet long, and had a had like a cat. So these are just quick accounts that I have. And I guess lastly, in 1924, a five-foot-long skeleton allegedly was found in the Alps by two men who said it resembled that of a lizard. So, so they actually found a skeleton of one of these bastards. Where's the skeleton today? Could find nothing on that. Nor mm. I could only find old illustrations of this thing. Um, but, I mean, we have some similarities. I guess I, could, I, I was able to draw between our other um, monsters. The pundit stench reminds me of the Flatwoods monster. Sure. sure. Uh, bright eyes, pretty much most of the things that we covered. Yeah, most of these monsters we talk about, they stink. They don't bathe, they don't have a shower, they don't have access to a gymnasium where they can go bathe. Bigfoot has horrible crotch, crotch reek. Yeah. Man. And, but bedroom eyes. They're just sexy eyes. <laughs> Reptilian <laughs> appearance. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sexy when you smell that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the reptilian appearance, it was more like the chupacabra, but not really with those other things that we saw that had kind of a reptilian appearance. 
It gets pissed off at humans, like pretty much every other thing that we talked about. Uh, claws, man bat, dog man, chupacabra, all have clawed. Doesn't teeth. everything get pissed off at humans, though, if you walk through the woods? Yeah, most things. Or they get scared and run. And usually if you happen across an animal, you're pretty pissed. I never, you never see a, a smiling bear, and because uh, maybe only because it's hungry and it sees you. Unless it was Winnie the Pooh or something. Yeah, but. that's a good bear. Yeah, it's, it's probably the best bear you could possibly find. Yogi Bear is pretty good, too. Well, Yogi Bear will shake you down for your picnic basket. That's true. And the feline mammal features, we got Dog Man, Goat Man, and Man Bat. So, I mean, the main thing I noticed, it did not fly. It was very much like a half-assed lizard serpent. The problem is for having a reptile that high in the uh, in the land in the, in the Alps is that I mean, it gets pretty damn cold in the winter. But so. could this be confused with, like, a very long, like a dragon, like a long dragon? Yeah, but not really nearly as large, because it's only, like, the size of like a normal kind of, like, long snake, but I think seven feet was the longest estimate that I saw. So maybe maybe a tiny, like, a petite alpine dragon? Well, I guess its other nickname that I had was the Alps Dragon. So. But, I mean, you know, you, you see, like, parades in China... Of these long dragons, and from a oh, right. chi- Chinese myth of these like long dragon like creatures or, uh, with with shorter arms, much arms and limbs much shorter than the length of the body itself. I mean, like what's his name in Azteca, Quetzalcoatl? It's a similar one. Yeah, I mean, migrating dragons coming from the far east. If we're going down that route, Minus that one. route of Crazy creatures. I mean, why not be dragons at this point? German dragons. Or maybe what they saw in dragons were just this, whatever this cryptid species is, just some kind of terrible salamander. Some kind of sick, retarded snake cat. Yeah. <laughs> Catmander. <laughs> that wears... It smells like sweaty shoes. That, that wears horribly smelly Nike shoes. <laughs> uh, perhaps. Why not? Is that all you got? That's it for the Totsil Verm. So is the Totsil Verm voting for Clinton or Trump? That is the question. Um, voting for Gary Johnson. Oh my God, those things are so dumb. Libertarian. Stop it! You're so stupid! <laughs> what is the Totsil Verm? It probably probably Austria. They live in Aleppo, dude. What is Austria? What is a Austria? Yeah, what is this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> what is all this stuff? What is all this stuff? What is all this stuff? Thank you, please. That was so good.